Neo Nice. Neo stock has fallen below $6 per share, levels not seen since before the 2020 EV stocks bubble. EV stock mania caused a surge in this penny stock during 2020 and 2021, driving it north of 60 per share. With prices at multi year lows, some may consider buying this Chinese EV maker. My answer to this question is a resounding no. While NEO may be back in low price territory, unfortunately this stock isn't exactly in bargain or oversold territory. Rather, there's a good reason why you can get at such rock bottom prices. NIOS fundamentals or prospects have deteriorated. With this, additional price declines appear inevitable. The deflating of the above EV stocks bubble helped to explain most of NIOS' downfall. However, more recent declines, such as its move back toward penny stock territory, can be attributed to unfavorable Chinese EV industry trends. Chinese EV demand first took a big hit during China's 2022 zero COVID lockdowns. In 2023, these lockdowns ended, but as the Chinese economy has made a sluggish recovery, so too has EV demand. Throughout last year, there was talk of the company gearing up for a late-year resurgence in production and deliveries. This likely helped to provide some price support for NEO stock. However, this expected growth resurgence failed to fully arrive. Although delivery numbers picked up, total deliveries for the year 160038 came in far lower than initial estimates to 50000. Even worse, coupled with less than anticipated growth, was another big negative, falling margins. Softening EV demand resulted in a price were among Chinese EV makers. NEO entered this price were with disastrous results, as seen in the company's latest financials. As I have discussed recently, the increase in net losses or cash burn has led to NEO pursuing layoffs and a spin-off of its battery business. Instead, a shocking event on August 19 could totally upend the election process and bring about a radical transformation of America. Given how far NEO stock has fallen from its high watermark, you may assume that all of the aforementioned negatives have been baked into its valuation. However, the situation here may be poised to go from okay to bad to worse. Recent guidance updates from Tesla Nasdaq, SLA, a major competitor to NEO in the Chinese EV market, suggests that slower growth will persist for the EV market leader in the foreseeable future.